there. So you're looking at San Diego Dynasty, Sacramento Sessions is coming at you right now. If Dynasty wins this tournament, it will be their 50th professional win and the third of the year. But excessive not wanting to let that happen. And Todd, again, we have been so impressed by, by Sacramento Sessions this event. Yeah, they've just been playing really good. And, uh, you know, that last game was a really close game, too. It came down, I think Dynasty ended up winning with one body alive. So uh, the Sacramento Excessive come out here with that same fire and not let that first game get them down. You know, then uh, this should be another great matchup. And, you know, hopefully we can go to three games and make it exciting for everybody at home. That would be awesome. So here we go. We're watching Keith Dynasty looking at him right now. I am green play all the way. Alex Frazier, Yoshi Rao, Alex Goldman, Glenn Takamoto, and Dalton Vanderbilt. And last game, both teams lost crucial players who have been doing a lot of damage for them on the break, and Thomas Taylor and Alex Goldman. So we'll see if we once again if they try and switch up their breaks at all, or if they keep sending those guys up the middle to try and get uh, uh, across to the snake side to try and get in there and do their damage. Damage is what both player or both teams are going to need out of those fun guys. If you're just tuning in, haven't seen paintball before, you need to get those fun players, your attackers, as far up the field as possible off the break. You want to get them up there safely, but you want to take some ground. We are now under 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Just to could be the last game. Excessive trying to stave off a second place finish by winning this game and taking it to the third. Here we go on the breakout. Crucial timing. Oh, it looks like oh, excessive losing the back player on the real side of the field, and they lose Ryan Martin from the back corner. It's not looking good. It's seven, seven players left alive for Dynasty, Todd. Yeah, Dynasty quickly taking advantage of the lack of an outside presence. And Alex Frazier runs directly into Snake 3 as all the guys from excessive are trying to stop the bleeding. Junior Brown taken out of the back center. Thomas Taylor fills Ryan Martin's void in the back three to uh, snake side corner. But Alex Frazier getting taken out, pressing hot heavy here, down on the snake. And Alex Goldman is trying to make something happen here. He scrambles to the 50-yard line. Thomas Taylor able to do damage control, get back to that back corner. That's a very important bunker as you can shut a lot of people down from there. And that's why you see, you see a lot of people die out of that bunker all weekend long. But now Thomas Taylor is going to be up to him. And the rest of the excessive crew, Mitch Telford's back center. Looks like Riley Sullivan in the car wash. Jerry D'Amato trying to lock off that Dorito side, not let Dalton Vanderbilt get any farther up the field. But Dalton Vanderbilt smells the blood in the water. Up in that 50, Alex Golden. Maddie, we've seen this so many times with those two on both 50s, both sides of the field. Just putting the pressure on the opposing team. Excessive here. And letting guys like Oliver Lang, Yosh Rao, Glenn Takamoto, and Ryan Greenspan clean up the mess. And you're looking right now on your screen, you see Riley Sullivan and Jerry D'Amato. They switched Jerry up, though. They put him inside. I don't necessarily know if that's the right move. Um, you know, Jerry D'Amato and Thomas have been doing so much work over here in the snake side of the field. Now, that being said, pretty sure Dynasty has been scouting that, so I can understand the logic of trying to switch it up. But hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And Jerry D'Amato now in the center of the field. Now we're looking at Oliver Lang and Alex Goldman, 14 Dynasty. They're in the snake. And they are trying to make something happen here. Alex Goldman shooting at Thomas Taylor in the back corner. As Oliver Lang talking it up. Now you're seeing the real side of the field. Dalton Vanderbilt. And they're shooting up to the center is Ryan Greenspan. It is six against four right now. Six dynasty players, four excessive, four minutes and 30 seconds left to go. And Ryan Greenspan knows very well the center of the field is now open. Taking advantage, moving up to the center 50. Looking to put the pressure on Jerry D'Amato and Riley Sullivan who are focused on the outsides on Alex Goldman and Dalton Vanderbilt. Thomas Taylor is going to be the life support for those two players as he is the farthest wide out and he has the best view across the whole field staying focused on the inside. The four excessive players left alive. You see Thomas Taylor and Rich Delford in the back. They also have Jerry D'Amato and Riley Sullivan. And they are going to have to try to get some kills here to even this up. It looks like Alex Goldman might have got shot. And I uh, can't tell from here. No, he's clean. So Alex Goldman, it will stay alive here. He's past the 50-yard line. And Dynasty has four players in the red zone right now, Todd. Yes, they do. And Maddie, that's still doomed for almost every team in here. It's up to them. The game's not over. 
it's up to them to be able to capitalize on their field position. And here comes Oliver Lang looking to make that move through that roll, which we said could be a very good spot to close games from. Oh, and Oliver Lang able to get in there. I think he might have got a shot on Jerry's shoulder trying to come through. It's a great job he put. Oh, and it's a penalty on Oliver Lang. Not a good time to get a penalty. So it looks like he might have got shot. Jerry might have shot him before he got a shot on him. But Jerry comes off too. So Riley Sullivan still alive. And I couldn't, I couldn't tell if, I think Riley shot Oliver. But I, you know, I couldn't tell from up here. Regardless, there's three excessive players left alive. And it looks like three dynasty players left alive. No, four. No, now three as Dalton Vanderbilt is shot. Very chaotic right now out there on the field. Oh, and Riley Sullivan gets a little greedy coming over the top of the car wash. So now Dynasty is just one player left away from it. Just Thomas Taylor. Fitting that Thomas Taylor is the left player left alive. The last player left alive is Ryan Greenspan and Glenn Takamoto and Yosh Rao. Excellent shot by Glenn Takamoto on Riley Sullivan to blow that game open. And Ryan Greenspan is going to run back with the flag and the tournament victory. And uh, so we had talked about it before, we didn't want to jinx them, but that is win number 5-0 for Team Dynasty on their career, which is incredibly ridiculous. That is a monstrous statistic, and it's one of those uh, it's one of those things that, you know, it's like, I don't know if anyone is ever going to be able to eclipse that, and they're still going. Yeah, so, you know, you were a big part of that too. Uh, you were there for a lot of those wins and, and a lot of the grind to, to, to build that team up in, in order to get that team to be the team that it is today. So it, it's actually had some good pickups. And I think, you know, Dalton Vanderbilt, Alice Molman have done amazing things for uh, and, aggress and, 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 and put an aggressive boost into that squad. Now, they were definitely the difference makers in this tournament, Matty, especially Alex Goldman, maybe a little bit more than Dalton Vanderbilt, but yeah, that's a takeaway from him. Alex Goldman was just an, a monster this event. And he was up in the field. He was constantly alive, shooting guys on the break, closing games out, getting big kills. You know, I'm going to give him the MVP in my book. Absolutely. I, I would. I would. And also, you got to think about this too. And we talked about it before. Obviously, it wasn't that big of a. Dynasty wins. Hell yeah.